So this is a automotive diagnostic tool. It's an OBD2 scanner that you can get off of Amazon. It is one of the higher priced ones, um, hence the value here, it's uh, three stars. I will say that with that extra price comes extremely good quality, durability, and the ability to do diagnostic on a mass scale. So if you had a company, a business, an automotive business, or if you like to fix people's cars on a regular basis, you can send them um, you know, snapshots of what's going on. You can order the parts directly off of it, and you can also fine tune um, high performance engines and other things like that. So as you saw from the unboxing, it comes with this really nice hard case with a nice solid zipper on it with a handle on top. It also comes with a plug that includes several different outlet options. It also comes with the OBD2 cabling. This is the piece that's going to plug into your automotive computer and I'll show you on my 2022 Silverado. And this piece here is just going to plug into the top of your actual component so you can see there. They also include this uh, very thick, high quality USB to type C cable so that you can charge it or you can plug it into your computer for advanced uh, use case and additional software. That's definitely a nice USB cable there. You get your manual, of course, you get the device itself. It has a beautiful LCD screen. It's all touch screen. It all works very responsively. So this is an OBD2 scanner, which is compatible with uh, vehicles that have been made since 1996 as the automotive industry has mandated that they use this type of plug. This device here can do is help you diagnose issues before you go see a mechanic. So you can prepare yourself prior to. There's also other performance enhancement opportunities on here depending on if you have a fast car, if you're trying to tune it up, whatever the case is, this has a lot of different options. So with lifetime diagnostic software upgrades, whenever industry standard changes or there's a change to computers or individual vehicle situations, um, this will get an updated database that's gonna keep the device working properly. You can see here, I just hooked it up to my TV, then it gives other people what I'm seeing on the big screen. So that's nice. Okay, I turned on my truck and now I'm coming down here underneath my dashboard to plug into the OBD2 sensor. So I'm just gonna put it in there and it just snugly pushes right in. Now I got it plugged into the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it right here into the actual device. So to start, I'm gonna make sure I'm on diagnosis. We're gonna do an auto search of my VIN number. There's my truck there. It found my VIN, so auto search. Yes. All right, so there's some of my basic vehicle information. It was actually made in Mexico, that's interesting. So that's my vehicle. So we can go ahead and do a health report and that'll just take a minute. As you can see there, I did get one fault code and that's for the rear closer position sensor on my tailgate. So I have looked at this before. I knew this was a problem and that is what it detected. Other than that, I have no other issues in my truck. So you can also do a system scan. So this one also came up with the same. Now you can read this fault code. It gives you all the information. You can also clear the fault code. You can get module information, which will tell you the part number. So this gives you the part number and all the information you need to find the product. And then you can actually do an act actuation test to test the operation. So I can click here and I can lift and close the tailgate from here. So that'll allow me to troubleshoot. And then you can also do system selection. You can select the system that you would like to focus on and it gives you several options within that. So some of the basic functionality is the quick view, just like any other tablet. It gives you the option to connect to a different Wi-Fi. You can record the screen and save it to the device. It also allows you to change the brightness the volume, and also get some customer service if you're having issues, so that's nice. The functions to go forward are like this, and backwards are like this. We don't have any open um, windows, but you have your diagnose section, 
you have your maintenance section and in here you can click this and it shows them in this fashion but this gives you options to ensure that all of these things are working properly and or to reset these different areas so if you have an if one of your o2 sensors is acting up you can come in here and try to reset it and that might fix it and then you can do other things like uh, check the fuel to air ratio and make changes to that for enhanced performance also reset your oil and all kinds of other things your upgrade section so this is where you can get the updated software information that we talked about earlier and also the maintenance software under diagnose you have the VIN number which is the auto search of the VIN this is the manual diagnose and this is the OBD and then you also get all the reports that you've had historically so when I did the scan earlier today and also the scan that we just did so you can come in here and look at th this gives you all the information in one centralized place now you can also send this information you can send a report directly to an email you can send it as a PDF as well but you also get your online service assistance your user manual some of the things the vehicles that are covered on here so this is how you would connect to a computer for more advanced operation remote assistance so you can use this function to basically send a detailed uh, feedback log to your customer if you have a business or to a friend and basically say hey these are the issues that we looked at and um, this is what I recommend then you got Google Chrome that's built into this which is nice you can get on Chrome you can do anything you could normally do on the internet so if you want to look at a part number so it's got YouTube which is nice you can pull, pull that up as well